needed to get in contact with you, bro. Mm -hmm. Because uh we've been I've been going back and forth on one fight, man. I just want to get your expertise on it, man. That first fight is uh uh Benavidez against Boo Boo Andre. Talk to me. I feel like a lot of people think that Benavidez is gonna just have his way with uh Boo Boo mm -hmm. Andre, but I mm -hmm. feel like it's a 50-50 fight. And the reason I do is because Boo Boo Andre, <clears throat> he's been he's been champion before, but he's never he's never had the chance to be in a big fight, was considered mm -hmm. a big fight. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is the first time actually being considered being in a big fight, but <clears throat> he's been at the top of boxing for a long time, if you really think about it. He's busy. He was an Olympian in the amateurs. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Didn't turn pro. He became a uh, champion at 54 and 60. So he know what it's like to compete at the top level. He just mm -hmm. he just hasn't been in there with what we consider a star. You know what I mean? Now, just because somebody is a star, that mm -hmm. don't make you the best fighter in the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Ryan Garcia was a star, also against Tank Davis, who's mm -hmm. also considered a star. That's what made it a big fight. Um, mm -hmm. Bubu Andre, we know his name, we know what he what he's capable of, but mm -hmm. we just never seen him in this type of situation. At the same time, though, we never seen Benavidez in this type of situation with this type of caliber of fighter. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some people, some people may disrespect Boo Boo in this situation because they don't know who he is. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But just because you don't know who someone is, don't mean they not what they say they are. You know what I mean? Boo Boo's been up against some of the best in the world. Like I said, as an amateur and a professional. So to me, mm -hmm. with all of that alone, that's what makes it a great fight. Also, Boo Boo is very awkward. You know what I mean? Sneaky punch on him. You know what I mean? Good speed for, for the weight division. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Southpaw stance, things like that. But then we have Benavidez with the hand speed, the power, you know what I'm saying? The pressure. It's a mm -hmm. it's a lot of things. So that's why I think it's just gonna be a great fight overall. What do you think about Benavidez's feet? His feet, I mean, when you when you focus on uh hunting guys down. Mm. you're not going to have the best footwork. You know what I mean? Because that's his main focus is just walking down, getting to you. Mm -hmm. So his, his footwork isn't the best, but he does have upper body movement, good upper body movement. Right. So I think that's what makes it difficult for guys with him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, because I know we've been doing a, a lot of film study, and we see that he ends up in uh, a lot of uh, bad positions, man. You know, and his foot placement just be real off, man. And, uh, yeah. I can see how... Uh, uh, Boo Boo can definitely capitalize on him, man. When he's coming in, man, he's just way off a of position. For sure, but you dig. Now, one thing about him, man, he's not a one punch uh, knockout type of cat. He overwhelms people, man. And uh, how how can Boo Boo, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, counter on that? Uh, that the way he comes in, man. That's see, but that's just it. Mm -hmm. He have to. When Benavidez make those mistakes, he mm -hmm. has to make them pay. Got to capitalize. If he don't make them pay, uh, Benavidez will just keep it up and he'll keep mm -hmm. the pressure. The mm -hmm. thing about Benavidez, if he gets you an arm's length, he's going to swing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If you don't have anything on your punches that'll make him respect you, he's going to keep coming. So in between the times of uh, him making those mistakes, closing in without his jab and things like that, Mm -hmm. If if Boo Boo Andre don't do nothing about it, if he mm -hmm. don't respect his power, then he's gonna have trouble with Benavidez all night. What do you think about uh the age difference? Is you thinking that's gonna play an important role or not? Nah? The age difference is always gonna play a part. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The thing is the fighters have to have to exploit that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So when you got an older fighter, we learned this from Bernard Hopkins and Kelly Pavel. Mm -hmm. When you got an older fighter, you gotta be the slicker fighter when you're the mm -hmm. older guy. You gotta be, you gotta be setting more traps. You gotta be crafty in there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You gotta make it dirty at times, and you gotta fight at your pace. When you're mm -hmm. the younger man, like we saw also with Bernard and Jermaine Teller, you gotta outwork the older man. Mm -hmm. Because the truth is, the older man don't want to go in there and do a bunch of extra work. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you gotta be smart in there. You gotta be smart. Take your time when you're the elder. When you're the younger man, you got to take advantage of the of the youth. You've been a, you've been around Boo Boo and everything. Uh, let me ask you one question: His last couple of fights, 
you know, a lot of people feel though that they've been pretty much lackluster. Do you think that he's a step off now, or do, what do you think that's about? I, or do you think he fights to the level of his competition? I thought about that, right? And mm -hmm. then I thought about it some more. I th I once thought that he was fighting down to to the level of his competition, but it's mm -hmm. not that. Mm -hmm. Here's a fighter who should have been getting the big fights years ago. Facts. And now he's getting them. So mm -hmm. he wasn't excited until now. When he fought when he fought Demond Nicholson, it mm -hmm. wasn't that he wasn't excited about Demond Nicholson all day. It just wasn't an intriguing fight to him mm -hmm. because Demond Nicholson already came damaged. He he looked at Demond Nicholson like I can beat him. And I know I gotta fight him to get back in, in the races, but mm -hmm. I really don't want this fight. Cause you gotta mm -hmm. remember, it was like two years ago, he was talking about fighting Canelo. He been trying to get Canelo. Mm -hmm. He been trying to get Caleb Plant, guys like that. So, mm -hmm. and he was over at the zone, but now that he's back over here with PBC, mm -hmm. you know I mean? we gonna see him in big fights and we gonna see him perform a little better because now he's excited about the fights. You know I mean, now he getting the attention that he deserved. Now, what he do with it is on him, but he's definitely going to come to fight. Okay, so we have uh, Benavidez, I mean, uh, uh, Boo Boo. I feel, though, that his skill set is uh, a level over uh, Benavidez. But how Benavidez just, just uh, what word am I looking for? Take over fights is just how much he overwhelms people. He he definitely overwhelms people, man. He brings a lot of combinations. I seen the guy the other day throw a 60-piece combination, man. Even though you'll get hurt doing that in the ring. <laughs> but uh yeah. I, I, <laughs> I I just wonder, man. Uh are we everybody's definitely gun ho about Ben Vidas, man. The Mexican monster. I call him the Tasmanian devil. It's that mm -hmm. in the third, but do is he as good as we think he is? What do you think? I think for his, I think the one thing we got to always take into consideration with Benavidez is his age. Right, his, he's not, he's not your typical what twenty four year old, twenty five. I think he's twenty six. He's not so even 20, in his prime yet. So twenty six, that's a young man. Yeah. And, and he's been getting in the ring. He's been getting in the ring with men since he was about thirteen years old. Nice. And I think, I think the thing that makes him good is the same thing that he'll have to pay for one day. Mm. But it's going to take somebody who's not scared of him, and 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 they and they're not fooled by just his size and his hand speed. A lot of guys don't know how to take that. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, and and we see him do this. He, we see him do the things he's doing to fighters. Because mm -hmm. in camp, these guys are not preparing for David Benavidez. They're just preparing for a fighter. They're mm -hmm. not preparing for David Benavidez. I think Boo Boo Andre is preparing for David Benavidez, and I think it's going to be a great fight. I do think David Benavidez is as good as they say he is okay. and, he, and what he's shown. But mm -hmm. it, to, to really solidify it, you always need that great dancing partner. And I think Boo Boo is going to be that guy for him, to be honest. Because Canelo looks and seems to not be interested in fighting uh, David Benavidez. So I think it's going to be Boo Boo. So do we look at this as like a, a remake of Floyd and Canelo? No, it's not the same. Age, um, it was. I think the age is about the same. Well, yeah, that's probably the best. Mm. I mean, the, the closest you can get is, is similarities. Okay. But the styles... The style, well, yeah, style's totally different. Yeah, yeah the style's totally different, and and Boo Boo is more so in the challenger seat. You mm. know what I'm saying? Than than Mayweather being Mayweather, but it is going to be a great fight. I can say yeah. that. All right, give me your give me your pick. I mean, I, to be honest, I don't have a pick. It's wow, a 50 /50. <laughs> I don't have a pick because you definitely had one with Spencer Crawford. You called it dead on the nail. You even yeah. said that uh, we'll probably get the knockdown. You know. And, yeah, uh, yeah, you you had that dead to rights. Hey, okay, we got Jamal and Jose Benavidez. Mm -hmm. and Jamal. Now, the, th the thing about that fight, Jose Benavidez has been in motion. You know, what I mean, he's been active. That could play a part. Uh, mm -hmm. Jamal Charlo has been inactive, mm -hmm. and we don't know what he's going to come out come out with. We don't know how he's going to feel. 
Mm. We don't we don't really we're not sure because things haven't been looking too good for him. We know he has some some mental issues. And we mm. know he got he's been in a few scuffles and things like that, but he hasn't been in the ring. So it should be interesting to see. Now, me just talking boxing, I mm. think I think Charlo will get him. Mm. I think the size is gonna play a part. You know mm. I mean the, the style is gonna play a part. But at the same time, you can't count Benavidez out because he's shown us. I mean, he he he'll fight. He'll fight anybody. You know what I'm saying? And he'll bring his best. So, and the only person to get him out was Crawford. Yeah, and that was in the last round. Yeah, and that was in the last round of the fight. So you can't sleep on Benavidez, and it's mm. going to be an exciting fight. But I would pick Charlo. I would lean towards Charlo sixty forty. Yeah, me. Too.